following huge losses recorded by cassava farmers in East Africa over the past decade, crop scientists anticipate the worst is yet to come for the farmers if the cassava brown streak disease finds its way to West Africa, which is home to the world's largest producer of the crop, Nigeria. Cassava is a staple crop for more than 200 million people in sub-Saharan Africa, including Ghana. This makes threats by cassava brown streak, a flesh-eating virus, very disturbing. Joy News has been finding out what the cassava brown streak disease is and how farmers can protect their crop against it. Cassava, an important source of dietary carbohydrate, is known to be resilient to drought. According to data from Ghana's Food and Agriculture Ministry, cassava production has increased marginally since 2007, with 14.2 million metric tons of the crop produced in 2011 alone. Unlike other crops, it tolerates poor soil, thereby surviving under harsh conditions. But one of the crop's major weaknesses is the cassava brown streak disease, which scientists say is extremely dangerous. In the last decade, East African countries such as Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Rwanda have recorded devastating losses from the spread of the disease which is transmitted by tiny insects called white flies. Farmers can also contribute to the spread of the virus causing the disease when they transplant infected stem cuttings. Cassava mosaic disease is everywhere in Africa. Losses are very important but farmers can still produce food. Where the difference with the cassava brown streak is that uh, the plants are growing, but the roots underground are completely rotten. And when the farmers are harvesting the roots by, you know, after one year, 18 months, two years, uh, they have to throw away the roots of the first plant, or the second one, and the third one, and all the plants in the field. And if they replant the, the stems, the cassava cuttings from this infected plant to produce again cassava, this plant will not grow or they will grow poorly and in any case they will be infected. Crop scientists have therefore declared a war on brown streak disease, hoping it does not reach West Africa. Dr. Claude Fouquet is advocating training for farmers to know more about the disease and how to deal with it. We need to develop in West Africa, we need to develop a surveillance system, so we have to go down to extension services, to farmers or you know, local villages, etc., for people to know, uh, uh, recognize, to know how to recognize the disease, to use their cell phone, for example, to, to call a hotline, and then to have people coming to destroy the plant if the disease was to come. We need to uh, develop virus-free seed delivery system. This would be a way by which we can provide better material to farmers, we can get information, and also <coughs> we, we could uh, spread um, resistant or tolerant varieties more effectively if uh, the disease was to spread somewhere else. According to him, seeking other alternatives such as genetic improvement to make the crop resistant to pests and diseases is a sure way to increase yields. But a month ago, we planted in Uganda, and in next October, we will plant in Kenya. We planted a transgenic cassava plant that are resistant to both uh, types of viruses. and. Uh, in three years from now, if uh, we do a good job and if everything is going according to plan, in three years from now, we should be able to start to deploy uh, these um, this plants. In the first product we're going to make for East Africa, the cassava, the original cassava is coming from West Africa, it's coming from Benin. There is in the world a number of people are opposed to use GM crops and therefore we need to, uh, to explain what we are doing more. Ghana and Brazil in 2010 entered into partnership aimed at boosting cassava cultivation, improving productivity and ensuring food security through the use of biotechnology and genetic resource management. Commercial cultivation of cassava is currently proving unattractive due to the lack of post-harvest processing facilities. To remedy this development, the Cassava Adding Value for Africa project has since 2008 been helping rural farmers to earn high income by providing them with materials to improve crop yields as well as increase its industrial use. Dr. Fouquet says interventions to improve cassava production are positive moves which require commitment from government and other stakeholders.